Hi, what I want to show you today is a meat mincer or a meat wolf as they call it from Royal Catering. As you can judge by the size of it, it's meant rather for larger places uh, like butcheries, uh, well, supermarkets uh, and restaurants that, ha that handle uh, a lot of minced meat like burger joints or, uh, well, Italian places that do bolognese sauce in large quantities. So let me just go through all the details for you. Well, first of all, it is very powerful and efficient. It works with 1100 watts and it goes through 220 uh, kilograms of meat an hour. So that's why the designation of the model is 220 Pro. Construction. Basically, nearly all is stainless steel and anodized aluminium. So the base is anodized aluminium and all the parts that come in touch with food are stainless steel, which is great because it doesn't react with raw meat and with food in general, and it's easy to clean and maintain. What is really important for me is the fact that you can disassemble this machine uh, down to its uh, basic parts, really, and you can clean those parts uh, really easily. So let me just show you how it works. First, you can disassemble the meat tray. There's a screw that I already uh, loosened up a little bit, uh, just to make it a little bit easy to take out, but you can tighten it down. So you just take this out. It sits on a nice stand with rubberized pads uh, that absorbs all the uh, vibrations and makes the tray sit very comfortably on the neck. While we added this screw, it's slightly different color than the rest uh, of the materials. That's because that's the oil valve. This machine needs to be lubricated every now and then, depending on how much meat you're going through, of course. So the way you do it, you just use a flathead screwdriver, unscrew this screw, you just look inside. If you can't see any oil, just put any food grade oil in it. A uh, few drops is enough. And just tighten down the screw back in. Um, and you have to check it regularly. Uh, all right. The nice bit is, if you unscrew this one, you can release the mincing unit. It comes out like that. This you can further disassemble just by unscrewing this collar. And this re release this mincing disc. By the way, you get two in the set, so you get a larger one and a smaller one for a finer mince. Inside also is the blade. This blade cuts off the cartilage and the sinew and uh, it just sort of makes the mince happen. And then you have the auger. The auger and the mincing unit is basically all cast steel, so very solid block of steel. There's nothing that can break or it can be damaged, really solid. All right, so after cleaning it, you just disassemble it. So you just put the collar back in, sorry, the missing unit. You have to align this notch with this lug, tighten it down just a little bit for now, then install the auger. It goes a thick back, a thick end uh, in. There's only one position you can fit, so you have to just align it. Then you're choosing the disc. I go for a finer mint, but then again, that's my advice to you. Uh, if you are mincing some tough uh, meat with a lot of sinew, cartilage, or if it's frozen, uh, or using nuts or anything, never start with the small one. Just use the larger one and then go one more time with the smaller disc. This will assure that the machine doesn't, will, will not clog up, even though it is so, so efficient. Well, it's a good thing to remember. It will save you a lot of time. But if it comes to blockage, I'll tell you there's another cool feature. Uh, I'll tell you about it in a second. So you install the blade in first, I almost forgot. And always remember to install the blade towards the disc. So it goes this way in. If you install the disc, remember to align this notch with this lug here. So make sure it fits in just like that. And that's the time where you just tighten everything down with this collar. Make sure it goes all the way to the back. And that's the moment where you just tighten this nut down. All right, foot tray back on. Make sure it sits in all the way down. Just tighten down the screw. Just use your fingers, just like that. And you're basically ready to go. 
Uh, in the set you also get this pestle or this plunger as they call it. This is for pushing the ingredients to the food down the shaft. All right, so how about we see this device in action and I show you the controls. Gloves on. Let me just prepare the dish where the meat will go in. Always remember to put something underneath uh, the mincing unit. And if it comes to meat, I'm using uh, beef. Uh, one thing to remember is, even though the machine is so, so efficient and so powerful, it's a good thing to cut the meat or whatever you're mincing down to uh, smaller bits. This way, it will, uh, the work will go much, much faster. All right, controls. Uh, as you can see, there's two buttons, red and green, and then up. So the thing is, that's the safety. Switch on, you just press the green button, and now you can decide whether you want a normal run, or when the machine is blocked for some reason, you can use the reverse gear or the overturn as they call it, and this will jump back. So this will make the auger turn the other way around and it will push the meat back up. So it will um, release all the blockage. All right. So let's turn it on, just like that. Drop the meat into the shaft. As you can see, it goes through it really, really effortlessly. If you're doing a lot of meat, of course, the plunger comes into action, so you just push it back down. But as you can see, it goes straight through. As I mentioned, it is very efficient, 220 kilograms of meat in an hour, so that is a lot of meat. And I'll get to that red button in a second, because that is very, very important. If you need to stop the device for some reason, uh, let's say if you hear some noises coming from the machine or something, or an accident happened, you just press the red button and the machine stops. So in order for it to work again, you need to press the green button again. All right, so that is about it. As you can see, a very efficient machine, very powerful, very solid, very heavy. So it sits really solid on the bench. Uh, if you're looking for a meat mincer, have a look at the website. There's a whole range of these devices on offer with different parameters, different sizes, so you will find definitely the one that you need for your business. Uh, if you order this one, however, it will come with a three-year warranty uh, and it will be sent to you in a really sturdy cardboard box with a double cardboard and styrofoam for a tight fit so it won't get damaged during transport. Also inside, you will find an instruction manual. Let me just turn it off. Have a look uh, at the instruction manual before you start the device because there's a lot of useful information on how to uh, lubricate it, how to disassemble it, reassemble it, and so on. So definitely a uh, good read and worth looking at. All right, folks, that's about it. If you found this informative, just leave me a comment in the comment section what other equipment you want me to test and I'll do it for you. I thank you guys very much for watching and I see you next time.